Sage Mass 500 uses process period end to close the current open accounting period or year to find in accounts payable options. It's also used to clear the monthly files and prepare for the following month's business. To perform period end closing, firstly, in accounts payable, you need to make sure that you've entered, posted, and paid vouchers for the current period. You need to enter and post credit and debit memos for the current period, and you need to process any recurring vouchers for the current period. Bottom line, Anything that needs to be posted needs to be recorded and entered and with the appropriate dates. If you have the purchase order module, you will need to enter and post receipt of goods for the current period, enter and post receipt of invoices for the current period, and enter and post return of goods for the current period. Purchase order closes when accounts payable closes. So all of those entries that are in purchase order need to be entered and posted as well prior to closing accounts payable. For any payments that need to be recorded and reported for 1099 in the current year, be sure you use the current year payment date. If you have purchase order, be sure that you reconcile and close purchase order prior to closing accounts payable. You'll need to reconcile accounts payable to itself and to the general ledger. Be sure that you've got all of your management reports and that you have reconciled and saved any necessary reports and that you are in balance prior to closing the year or period. And if it's the end of the year, it's 1099 time.